That was a surprising change in opening song for this week's episode of Cells at Work. To be honest, I actually prefer the original version of the opening song, but I think the reason why I feel that way is because the visuals within the opening song I don't think really fit the new lyrics that were kind of added on. Now the lyrics is just an extension to the actual full song, it's just like the second part of the opening song, so it's not like they made an entirely new song. But I just feel like the visuals just don't really match the new version of the song we got in this episode. But regardless though, like hearing how it sounds, it's a good, good song, just like I said, visuals though, I just don't think match properly. But okay, so this episode, we take a break from White Blood Cell and Red Blood Cell, and we focus on Killer T, Helper T, and RT Cell. So we get quite a bit of backstory for these characters, and I want to be honest here, while I was watching this episode, I got some heavy Naruto vibes. Like, hopefully I am not the only one that got that, but I will explain the reason why I feel this way. So, as the episode started... It was a typical backstory, you know, seeing this kid that was weak but eventually becomes a very strong dude in the end, which is, you know, Killer T that we've gotten to know throughout the journey of Cells at Work. And we know that Helper T has some form of relationship with Killer T, and he's also, like, the commander. And we get some backstory on that. And the entire setup for this episode was very stereotypical. It's something I've seen in other anime and manga that, you know, happens all the time. There's like a training episode or, you know, how they're trying to get stronger. You have the one individual that's gifted with natural talent and you have another one that just has to go through sheer will and hard work just to be able to match someone that's a genius or with, you know, talent, which was Helper T throughout this episode. So the entire theme of this episode was incredibly stereotypical but it doesn't mean it's bad by any means in fact i really like this episode like i said it's a nice breath of fresh air from red blood cell and white blood cell which don't get me wrong i love those two i love the last episode it's a great series but i'm glad the formula was mixed up it wasn't like a rinse and repeat of let's say red blood cell getting lost white blood cell helping her out or you know a new like you know virus or bacteria enters the body and they have to handle it i'm glad there was a little bit of a difference with this episode it mixes it up to where it doesn't feel like it's just a copy and paste with every single individual episode but let's get into the nitty gritty so with this episode what reminds me of naruto is the entire training segment with Killer T taking his time to train outdoors in the woods. I mean, you see how Helper T starts to train as well. And you also know that RT Cell, she was also watching the entire time with D Cell. And I'm just like, this reminds me a lot of Naruto. Like, for instance, Killer T was like Naruto. And how he was a hard worker, and I'm not talking about the ending of the series where, you know, his hard working and, you know, goes against destiny and fate. Turns out actually he had fate on his side the entire time. But, I mean, the point is, okay, I, let's not get into that, is that Killer T, he was someone that put in a lot of hard work. And it's like, this reminds me of the training segment in the original Naruto, Naruto Part 1. And then you had Sasuke that was also trying to train, even though he was naturally talented, he was a genius gifted, he still needed to train to be able to keep up with Naruto, always stay one step ahead. And then you had someone like, let's say, Sakura that was watching in the background, watching them, which was RT Cell in this episode. And then you had, like, the Sensei or Senpai, which was, like, Kakashi, which was D-Cell in this episode. And I'm like... There is some very heavy Naruto vibes while watching this episode, which, like I said, doesn't mean it's bad, just like, there was. I, I, I got those vibes while watching, it's like, I haven't seen those episodes in years. It, it honestly got me a little bit of a nostalgic feeling, because I haven't watched Naruto Part 1 since, oh man, like, 2006, 7, so it's maybe 8, it, it's been a while, it's been... It's been a long time. Like, it's been years since I've seen Part 1 of Naruto. I've never really rewatched it either. Yeah, I don't think I ever rewatched Naruto either. So, when I think about it, it just like, this gave me a very nostalgic feeling. And I actually like that. I really do like feeling that way. 
But okay, so let's get into what really matters with this episode, and it's Killer T's development and Helper T and how they all get their roles selected. So I learned something in this episode, and I know that sells at work. It does do its best with giving us, you know, details on how the human body works. There is some things that are not accurate, but overall things do typically seem to be somewhat accurate when it comes to how the body works. Now, I don't personally know, like, how the whole selected process goes on with, you you know, T-cells, killer T-cells, helper T-cells, and this episode tried to explain it in the best way it could on how the human body goes through the process of getting these certain cells or T-cells to go throughout what job they want. For instance, we have a killer T-cell, we have a helper T-cell that navigates or commands the killer T-cells, you have the regulatory, you know, T-cells that, you know, keep killer T in check. I mean, we, we know about these cells, but we get to find out how they come about, how they're born, how they're trained, how they get the role they play. It's a very interesting episode, but there was some things that were added in this episode that make it seem happy, but in reality, there was a lot of dark things going on behind the scenes. Now, as we know, Cells of Work, it's a very, in some ways, child-friendly show. Besides some violence towards bacteria or viruses, it's a very child-friendly show. And normally, it doesn't like showing the darker aspects of the human body and how certain cells will attack other cells or rid, you know, certain things within the body. And in this case, what happened with the cells, like the T-cells throughout their training, I was told by someone on social media on Twitter that apparently the process of selecting these cells, if they fell, like if they attack the wrong cell, like they attack like, you know, a regular cell or something, the body and other cells just completely ignore them till they die, or macrophage, the maids, they devour the cells. And I'm just like, oh my god, like, you know, our body is, it's pretty savage. Like, our body really does not play no games at all. Like, it just goes in, it doesn't care, and it's just like, it really shows that our body, in general, as I've said before in the cancer cell episode, is that it's like a dystopia. That That's what our body really is. It's like everybody is being controlled to have one job. If you don't fall in line, you're, you're just removed. You're cut out of the equation. And that's what was happening to all these cells. There was just like no clear cut like chances. You mess up, you're done. And apparently like only 3 to 5% of all T cells actually survive. Get to make it to be helper T cell, you know, killer T, you know, RT cell. You know, only like 3 to 5% actually managed to make it to that stage, which really just puts in perspective how many cells actually die just to be able to protect the human body. That's mind-blowing. So... I learned a lot while watching this episode, thanks to the episode, but also the community as well, just giving some clarification, but man, do I love Cells at Work. It's definitely one of those series that continuously stands out every single week and is easily one of the best series of Summer of Anime 2018. I do hope before this series is said and done, though, like, you know, when it finally does end, I do hope we get a Season 2 announcement. I don't know how much content is, uh left after, you know, the series ends. I think we have, like, two or three episodes left, but when the series does finally come to an end, I do hope we, there is enough content within the manga to give a season two, and if not that, at least animate, you know, Cells of Work Black, which I've heard so many good things about. I've heard that there's some really good stuff that goes on within that manga, but yeah, episode overall, it's good. It gets to the point. It's a pretty basic episode just showing the life of Killer T, Helper T, RT Cell. That's pretty much the entire point of the episode, which isn't bad, but there's really not a whole lot to talk about, which is the reason why this video is a little bit on the short side. So I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Stay healthy. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video, please click the bell icon down below. And with that, Chibi out.